Hello, everybody. It is 740. Please, uh, I hope you guys get something out of this, okay? Because these times are coming upon us quickly. I think you can worship Jesus Christ whilst at the same time having a mark in, in, in your arm. Yes. I think you can worship Jesus Christ whilst at the same time having a mark in, in, in your arm. Yes. And it causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond. To receive a mark in their right hand or their foreheads. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that he had the mark or the name of the beast or number of his name. <laughs> it's just a book, isn't it? You know, I haven't got a lot of time for the Bible. To me, that's just words doesn't really mean anything. Excuse me, sir. Forgot your receipt. Check outlines. Who needs them? Have a nice day. This is the future of e-business. A while back when they first switched to radio frequency chips to track packages. Albrecht published the book Spy Chips, started a website of the same name, and even put out this eye-catching t-shirt. Needless to say, she's not too stoked on the possibility of our government or other private agencies spying on us through our consumer products or chips embedded in our skin. My particular church have not discussed about the mark of the beast. I think you can worship Jesus Christ whilst at the same time having a mark in, in, in your arm, yes. <laughs> no, I believe how much that they actually waste. They're actually going to throw away enough to us unchipped people. We can actually survive, dude. Without you. Dude, smoking a joint, getting high, talking about the Bible, and knows that that's the mark of the beast, and knows that he's not going to take it. He's so high on his marijuana, he thinks he's going to be able to eat out of the garbage cans and survive, that all the chip people are going to have enough food, they're going to be throwing it away, and he's going to survive that way. He's so high on his marijuana, man. He's, he's, I used to be like that. He's out of his mind. If you know about the Bible and you're still getting high on your little marijuana and you know about this stuff, you're going to be in worse of punishment because you know about Christ and the Bible and you chose to get high on your pharmacia, pharmacy, drug, sorcery that's in the Bible. It says they won't repent from those things in the last days. If you're still getting high on your marijuana and you're taking your pain pills and you're, you're getting high, saying that you need it, you have to have it, deceiving yourself, talking about the Bible and coming against the Antichrist and talking about homosexuals and thinking you're righteous, you are self-deceived. Repent, man. Repent. I know a lot about the mark of the beast uh, yeah. prophecy, and I don't know a lot about this chip thing, but from what you've told me just then, it seemed pretty similar. No, I'd never take a, I'd never take a chip. I'd never microchip myself. I will never be chipped voluntarily. They'll have to hold me down. They'll have to knock me out. Not taking the microchip could end up meaning that you would starve to death. I understand that. I'm not Christian myself, uh, and I'm. I'm not that knowledgeable about um, revelations, but uh, I know that um, when they talk of a, a mark of the beast, um, it's for buying and selling, and everyone in in society must uh, bear this this mark to operate and function. It hasn't been dumped on the market. It has been slowly and incrementally and strategically planned. 
ever so casually it has been put into the system put into commercials put into life put into banking it's there it's creeping in and has crept in and it is not because they have bamboozled people people desire to get this done their plan is working to think something so small can connect you all right you guys um I had a dream, I don't know, it was probably maybe seven, eight months ago, I can't remember, it's been quite a while, where even at the banks where I've seen the cashier tellers at each window, I've seen high demonic demons sitting in chairs between each teller window, okay, devils and demons, this is coming, God bless you guys, I hope and pray that everybody got something from this message.